Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my little vampire. He's pretty easy. Um, we need a couple of colours, black and white and a couple of red bands and then a silver or a grey um, to differentiate between the opening of his cape. You're also going to need two e-beads and uh, a couple of clear bands to tie off with. Um, the layout, I've used an extended loom and as you can see um, I do use all five columns for this. So this is the layout. Um, it's pretty easy but you do need that extra width and I have it in an offset position with the arrows facing towards me. So we will get started and we will do this together. I do double band which means I have two bands and I put them together and place them over the pins as one and that's quite important it makes a tighter more firm figure so they're not sort of all loose and bandy. Um, so unless otherwise stated I'm double banding. We'll start at the top here with his hair I'm using white bands for his skin because he's a vampire so uh, that makes it nice and easy you don't have to rush out and try and buy peach bands or anything like that Papers falling all over the place. For his neck, we will use three bands. Make sure you push everything down, it does get a bit crowded. Three bands for the neck and then you're back to two bands again. Oops.
Now we're going to do the final column. And this will be a little bit different because we're going to swap to our grey bands which will show where the opening to his cape is. And then we're going to go across here. These are just cosmetic bands. They're not really bands that mean anything to keep the whole figure together. But uh, still, it's nice to have a bit of definition there. Next, we're going to do our crossover bands. Sorry, we take one band, a single band this time, stretch it out, do a figure eight, and push it back on itself. The same for the other side. And then again, single bands. We're just going to put them across all five columns, like so. When we get to the very last one, we are still going to put a band across it. We're going to pop that bit above and that bit above. Okay. Now we're going to put end bands on these two pins. So to do an end band, I take a single band, I stretch it, and over two fingers, I wrap it around once and twice and then I slide that onto my pin. So again, single band, stretch it around two fingers, one and two, and pop that onto my pin. His feet are going to act as the other end caps here. Three bands, hook it around twice, once and twice, and slide that onto two bands. and we'll pop that on the end of his leg here, poking out the bottom of his cape. Three bands. Oh, I hate them when they go all curly. There we go. One, two, and slide onto two bands. We're not having to do any arms because they're inside his cape. On the end here. Lovely jubbly. So, quick checklist end bands, feet, crossover bands, crossover bands. We need a crossover band here. So, we'll take a single band and we'll stretch it out, figure eight and double it, and pop that on his face. He also needs some eyes. Using the same colour as the skin that you've chosen, I use e beads, little white e beads. And while I normally loom with my 3.75 hook, I changed to a 2.75 hook for fiddly things. And it's actually really good because the e-beads fit on it. So I'm going to slide those over the band and we'll place that across from ear to ear, like so. So I think we're ready to start our hooking. Starting at the bottom. Go in and pull those up. Want those two bands to come up. And we probably actually didn't need an end cap on the very end one there. We 
we can chop it off later. Make sure you have all your little teardrop shapes. That uh, is a visual reminder that you have actually hooked something in. And will save you tears at the end when you pull your figure off the loom and realise that you haven't actually hooked everything in and it falls apart. Which has happened to me many a time. Oops, get back over that pen you. When you get to this stage, we're going to go up this side. Hmm. Let's see which bands are on the top. Ah, that side is on the top. That was confusing. Grab those ones and pull them across. And that looks better. And don't worry about these ones not having anything to hook into because we're actually going to tie those ones off. make sure we've got teardrops everywhere which we do so I'm going to take two black bands pop my hook down through the channel here and out through the edge hook my bands over I twist the hook slightly so that the back edge is passing over where those other bands are so I don't accidentally snag anything tie that off you're going to do the same the other side. And we're going to do the same at the top here. And at the top I'm going to use clear bands. He's now ready for us to pull off the loom. 
I use the back of a metal crochet hook to ease it gently so as not to break any bands. Usually once you've got past the area where you have a large amount of bands on one hook, one, one uh, peg, you can start pulling your figure off without the need to use the hook. But I do like to be careful when there's lots of bands involved. Stretch him out a little bit to pretty him up. Now, I had the crossover band that I did in his face. I used a single band and I double looped it on itself, which gives him a thinner looking face. If you don't want him to have a thinner looking face and you want this slightly rounder looking chin, you don't double loop it. You just use a single band and place it in a triangle. Okay, so the next thing um, that we're going to do is his collar and this is quite easy get a few extra bands and it's all going to be black bands again we're double banding And we're going to put a couple of bands across, single bands, as our crossover bands, like so. And we're going to put end caps on these. And if nothing else, I like the end caps on this because it gives it a frilly sort of look to the top of the uh, the top of the collar. Okay, so we're ready to loom this in. Pull the two from underneath up and over. Sorry, let's move that up there too. up and over up oops didn't catch another band there I'll just put it over and then I'll move it back and over and over 
and lucky last, up and over. And we'll continue going up. going to get oops, two black bands, pop our hook down the middle and out the side and pull those through, give it a big tug, and gently pop this off your loom. into shape Now is the time to get our C clip or our S clip. I'm using an S clip. Hook that onto the back of his collar and it is going to go here. But what we're going to do is hook it into the back of his neck. in the middle and this is going to go there and don't worry about that it's it's um, so long because basically what's going to happen is we're going to use these ends to tie that in so with those two ends you're going to get two red bands put your hook through one side, pull it through and pull it tight and you're going to do that to the other side as well. And then I change to my skinnier hook. And what you're going to do, line up where you want the hood and going in from the face to the back, catch some of these bands on your hook, just of the collar, and you're going to pull it through his cape, like so. And the same on the other side. And then we get to tie these two red bands into a knot at the front. for his bow tie.
draw his eyes on with a sharpie. Now you can just do black or red with a black pupil. Today I'm doing red with a black pupil. But either way would work. And there's our little vampire. Thanks for listening.